There are people who say they can connect with the spirits of the deceased and that they can predict the future. Those are pretty extraordinary claims. And the proof? Well, it's always been less than extraordinary. Now, some people say that extrasensory perception is beyond science, and maybe it is. But here at NILABS, we conducted a little experiment to see just how easy it is to make it look like you have psychic powers. We invited Dr. Michael Shermer, the publisher of Skeptic Magazine, to come and read people's futures. There's something, I'm getting something about your, a scar on your knee, on your left knee, or you scraped your knees or something. Uh, I, yeah, I scraped my knee. You did? Yeah. Was this recently or? Um, a couple weeks ago. Uh -huh. The thing about the knee was funny because I haven't scraped my knees in like 12 years, but and I did just a couple weeks ago. I fell down. So this card tells us that there, there is a dominant, that there's two things going on here. There, there is some spirituality in your life, um, either traditional religion or, if not traditional, at least a, a strong component of some sort of spirituality. Does that make any sense? Uh, how does it? In, yeah, in different ways. Um, like when I was younger, my father was a Baptist minister. Uh-huh, well, there you go. That might be it. He wasn't stretching so much. I think he was pulling from things that were coming out of the cards uh, rather than pulling things from me. There's, uh, gosh, there's just a couple of weird little things I'm getting. Um, I'm seeing a white car. I don't know what a white car means, if this is somebody in your family or your friend or something like that. My grandma uh, has a white car and my uh, uh, friend from high school has a white car. See, I, told, I, I started off saying there's, I'm getting a couple of people here that are influenced, so I, I wonder if this other one with the white car thing is, is the grandmother. I wonder if it's grandmother sort of coming through in a sense. Something that he picked up on that did surprise me was about the white car. I don't really know where that came from. I think that I will think about my grandma a little bit and maybe talk to her a little bit more. So Michael, <laughs> you've never done this before. Nope, never done it. How long did you pe spend preparing for this session? Um, I prepared um, yesterday, basically one day. Mm -hmm. uh, I got a book on cold reading, I took a few notes, I went online and I read some stuff on palms so I could memorize the lines, so I at least sound like I know what I'm talking about. If I can do this in one day, anybody can do it. Why do you think it is that people are just drawn to this? There is this transcendent idea that we can somehow transcend the here and now and connect the other side. There's no evidence that there is such a thing, but if somebody claims that there is, that pretty much is all that's needed with a handful of hits to convince people you can do it. So describe a hit. A hit would be anything that the client thinks is uh, accurate or true. But what they don't realize is that these things are true for almost everybody. The skin knee, the white car. You see, what, what's going on here is the psychic's not doing the reading. The person is doing the reading. And here's the key. They remember the hits and forget the misses. And That's they the think key. the psychic got the information, but they gave it to the psychic.